All right, guys. Now we are doing the fun stuff. Putting the, uh, I guess you would call them the headlight buckets or linkage or frame. I don't know. But got these in. They were a bitch because I scratched up my paint in here. So what I did, I had some black chassis paint, taped it up, brushed it on there, let it dry, and it's a little bit stiffer than the regular base coat, clear coat. So no more scratches. So what I'm gonna do on this side over here, see the scratches there, I'm just gonna get a brush and paint the black chassis paint onto that. So one day when I get time, cause I wanna get this card done, I'll probably send these buckets out and the link each and all that stuff and get that stuff zinc plated. Match my pretty bolts. But until then, they're going in like that so I can get this car on the road, driving and have fun with it. So that's what I wanna do. And then the other thing I did, these rubbers here were actually, had covered in mud, gook, whatever, road grommet, dirt, crap, shit. Both of them were on there. I used spray nine. I took me about 15 minutes with a little uh, nylon brush and cleaned them right up. They came out looking brand new. So, got brand new original. So, now I gotta put the shit together. All right, guys, so now I have the windshield washer tank in. Now, this is for the newer ones from like 87 or 88 on up. It's a lot smaller. It's not big and bulky like the other one. As you can see, I can see down in there now. I'm still waiting on the pump. I have to get the pump still. Uh, the lid's separate and everything else. The only thing you have to get, there's a little L bracket right here. And I had to drill a hole through this uh, power steering reservoir bracket. So it wasn't too bad. I don't know if you can see all that. But uh, yeah, it's like what? Two minutes of drilling. Bracket, got the bolts, bolts done, pretty sturdy, happy with it. I actually went out and bought the cover for the uh, the battery, and you got the new crap up here. I still have to detail the engine bay. I have the new uh, coolant reservoir over there. Um, I still gotta adjust the headlights, I gotta get that done. I got them up for now, and this one here is brand new. They're H4 uh, headlights from Pelican Parts. They're Hellas. All right, so I had the new one, the new uh, plastic piece on the outer from uh, Porsche. I got that. I didn't get the other ones because you're really never going to see them. When you do see them, it's probably going to be dark out anyway. Uh, but this was they're old and cruddy. That's an original one over there. Luckily, that one's in better shape than the other one. I got brand new H4 headlights or DOT approved. I'll probably want to get something else a little stronger. They don't have those resistors on them though. Um, Brent's making me a wiring harness so I can hook up. He does a great job with the wiring harness for these. Because eventually I'm going to get the uh, more powerful headlights. Um, so everything's all done. I'm waiting for my vacuum lines. They'll be here Monday for that vacuum reservoir. So it's got a slight vacuum leak. Nothing major. It'll still run, I think. Um, yeah. So it's getting there. It's getting there, getting there, getting there. I'm starting to clean out the inside because I'm going to start putting the uh, sound deadening crap all in there. I still have to finish this. There's all the parts for the inside, like the gauge clusters and all that crap. I'm starting to take all that crap out. Uh, let me just swing around. So what I got to do now, I got to pop the deck lid. That metal piece that protects the uh, fuel tank, the uh, the pipe to the fuel tank, the filler neck. I actually have to put that cover on and it's being a bitch. So I'm gonna try and screw in the top and then sneak the bottom in. That's the plan of attack I'm gonna do. Then I can put that sound detonant pad back on there. I kind of like those, but then I'm gonna redo all that down there and sound that and take the spare out, do that, do the quarter panels and doors and floors. And yeah, you get the drift. So, but right now, I'm actually going to take the sunroof off and get what's left of the sunroof headliner or the headliner, but it's any of the ring around the sunroof because I got to trace that and get that done. And here's some stuff I got from the dealer. 
These foam things go around the uh, door pole. Then you put the uh, door panel back on. I need it one vent because the other one broke. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just get two brand new ones. I'm gonna pop two brand new ones in. Get that done, get these done. I got the new plastic, the vapor barrier. I have those. That's gonna get installed this weekend. So I got a lot going on this weekend and it's gonna be a long weekend. Cause my goal now is to get this done by the end of the year. So I think I added up, I have like six or seven full days I can actually work on this nonstop. I think I can do it. The only thing I'll be waiting on is carpets. I got the headliner, so carpets and back seat covers, they're the only ones I'm going to, only thing I'll be waiting on. The new seats are over there, I showed you, but in the meantime, I'm probably going to pop them in there so I can ride it, drive it, ride it, drive it, whatever. Uh, I got the brand new dash, that's going to go in. I'm hoping the sunroof, sunroof, I'm hoping the headliner and the dash will be put in tomorrow. Today, what I got to do, I'm going to get back on that. So today, what I'm going to do is bring it over to the lift, put it up so I can plug in all the lights. All the lights are going to get plugged in except the headlights. That headlight's plugged in, that one's not, but I'm waiting for the harness from Brent. Uh, so the fog lights are all going in today. Turn signals are getting plugged in. Marker lights are getting plugged in. And then I'm going to straighten out the uh, deformed uh, mouth or whatever you want to call it. If my car could talk to me, it would say... A little fucked up, but will you take care of me forever and ever? All right, guys. So I actually cleaned everything out of the car, like all the extra screws and most of my tools. Still got to work up front and get that done. But right now, I'm concentrating in the back back here. I'm actually uh, just using some spray nine, spraying it down. Going to clean it up. Then I'm going to put some sound detonant in there and wait for my rear carpet kit to come in. Then I'll clean up the spare and all that stuff and put all that back nice and neat um and i'm just gonna work forward i'm hoping to get the dash in today and the door cards on today so that would be a great comp comp it yep i'm hoping to get all that shit done today that's it all right guys so when i was ripping all this crap out i uh took that centerpiece out which i'm gonna put a little sound detonant stuff on there too and then I'll put the insulation crap back on there to jute. Got some new stuff coming. But I noticed there was a little bit of rust right down in here. So it's not penetrated, it's just like surface rust, but I really wanted to clean that up for it got bad in, I don't know, 10, 15, one month, I don't know. So, but I'm gonna clean that up, get my little grinder out, clean that up, and uh, get that, paint it, and cover that back up. So, easiest way to get that car off is this scraper uh if you go back in one of my other videos on my slant nose 911 you'll see me using that on on there and it's quick it's easy and you can see gets it right down to the metal so yep it works great then you just get some prep saw and it will take the rest of that tar off of there so all right and that's not rust that's uh sound that can crap i thought it was rust so all right, let me clean this up, get it painted, and uh, keep on moving. And guys, and this is what the trunk looks like after I used spray nine and some prep saw. Uh, I painted this because it had rust down in there and I had to weld that in. So, but you can see here, down here, that's the undercoating or the seam seal, I should say, that's wearing down from the spare. Down over here is actually to metal. That there is to metal. So I'm going to scuff that up and put some paint on that. But it actually came out really, really clean. I'm happy with the results. Just a little bit of elbow grease, that's all. So I cleaned up that ground wire right there. And now, like I showed you earlier down there, I'm working on the passenger side. I'm gonna get that all cleaned up. And I'll work on the driver's side, get that cleaned up, put some sound detonant crap in here, make it quieter. And I'm gonna get the speakers in today too. I've been wanting to do that for about a year now. All right, uh, let me get to work. All right guys, so I cleaned up the metal and now I'm gonna treat it with some Sims uh, rust oxidation, rust crap. So we'll seal it up and it's gonna be in black, so no biggie. And then I had some over here too. 
and I just went through the whole car and there is no more rust. So I'm going to show you the stuff that I'm going to be using. And uh, if you find it helpful, go ahead and do it yourself. All right, guys. So this is the stuff I was just talking about. It's the uh, SEMS Rust Shield Corrosion Control. So it actually goes direct to metal. So it's only going to be in spots. It's going to be covered up. No one's ever going to see it unless they rip everything out. So I'm not even worried about it. Plus, I'm not going to rid the car anyway. So let me mix this up and I'll brush it on. All right, guys, so I started putting the uh, vapor barrier on. Still got to do a couple more things. I got to put the uh, door release on there, put the foams on there where the door release goes. Um, it's getting there. The seat's just sitting in there for now because I don't want to sit anywhere else. So let me open this up back here. And I did find a little bit more rust after I told you I didn't. So now there is absolutely no more rust. I've got all that crap cleared up. It's all cleared up down there. Airbox is all done and I have a separate video on that. But yep, I still gotta do the sound that in like I said it was. But I got all that done. I built, rebuilt the uh, box there and there's the heater core. You'll see that in another video. So, but we are all done on that. And I'm gonna move on to the next project on this vehicle. All right, guys, so today's project is I am removing the evaporator and the heater core. I'm not going to bed until this is done. And it's only about 11 o'clock in the morning. So it looks like, put my light down. It looks like these two bolts. And then, uh, hmm. ah, and apparently there's a bolt here and a bolt here. Now we gotta disconnect the lines, cut some zip ties, cause they like zip tying shit. And I'm probably gonna replace that cause that's, eh, it might be all right. I'm gonna clean up the rust though. It bothers me. And uh, we're gonna move that out. So, all right, let me get my tools and I'll be back in a second. All right guys, so the AC evaporator is out and I almost got the heater unit out but I done fucked up so that little black grommet down there this drain hose goes down there that goes down in there and then this fucker is permanently on that it fucking broke off from the uh, evaporator box I'll show you. So here's the evaporator box or my tool cart box. So now I gotta come up with some kind of concoction for this fucking thing. So I can put this back on there. I'm not gonna fucking JB weld it or none of that shit because I don't need that fucking clogged up and all the water sitting in here. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll figure something out though. And when I figure it out, these guys will see what I'm gonna do. So, yep, that's the story of my life today. This bullshit. So, let's see what the heater core in store is for me. I already got cooling all over the floor. So, but, all right. All right, guys. So, what I did under the hood today, I put this new rubber piece on. That one right there, because mine was all dry, rotted, and cracked. If you go back. And look in the other videos, you can see, these are probably wondering like, you know, if I keep that on there or not. Nope, I replaced it. And when I was painting the cow, the, uh, those plastic hoses, uh, it's dark in here, I'm, it's cold outside, so I don't have all my cars outside. Um, this plastic hose, it goes to the uh, vacuum reservoir, whatever you want to call it. And then it comes up into, that T, I'll move the light in a second. I'll use it as a pointer. Right in here, there's a T. Um, so it goes there. So I got my heater hose clamped off. What I'm gonna do now, uh, I actually have this rubber piece. It goes all the way across. It seals it because then you can get some, I guess, fresh warm air coming out of that. So I'm gonna put that seal up and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put that seal up now. All right, so that seat, that seal comes up pretty, pretty easy. I got it up. I got the new one in the package here. So now I'm gonna go put that in. 
And before I put that new one in, I just want to show you the difference between the old one and the new one. So let's try to get that zoomed in. Here's the new one. You see all that cushion it has. And there's the old one. It's already smashed. So there's really like nothing there. You can see it. That's the new one. That's the old one. So it should see all pretty good. All right, guys. So the new one's in. And it literally took me less than a minute. And you can see all the sponginess in it where it's gonna seal up pretty good up against that. So pretty happy with that. And uh, let me find something else to do. So a couple of the uh, goodies that I recently got for the 944. Uh, I got the new front and rear license plate holder. And here's some of the hardware for it. All right there. I got all that. And then I got new heater hose uh, hoses. Got all three of them. So I bought the new dashboard and I was thinking, I'm like, well, put the old glove box cover on. It's gonna look uh, a little old looking. It's not gonna match up. So he charged me $370 for this damn thing. Made in Germany. It's from the Porsche dealership. So, but you have to, they don't make the badge no more. So I have to use my old badge. I was thinking all that crap would come with it, but I can take all this crap off my old one and stick it on this one. So that's where I'm at with that. But these are the newest goodies I got in the last week. Uh, still waiting on the carpet kit. Hopefully that will be here soon. And, uh, I want to get this car on the road. Absolutely, it's going to be my daily driver. It's just sitting there waiting to be driven. So, all right, let me get back to work, guys. Enough of the uh, toys. All right, guys, so this is going to end it for this episode on the 944. Um, it's, I'm chipping away. I'm actually getting really, really close to getting this thing on the road and driving. I don't think I really need that much more parts. Um, just a couple minor things maybe. I will go over a list in my next episode on everything I need. And I'm hoping by then I will have the uh, carpet in. Headliner is gotta go in still. Um, Cause I got the wrong headliner. They gave me some cloth type, which I can use on my BMW. So I just ordered a new headliner from uh, a place in England. It's already cut out. You just gotta trim it a little bit and pop the sucker up there. Um, trying to think what else. I'm starting to get the door together. Uh, yep. So, well, that's going to end it on this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Leave some comments on what you think I should do or what I'm doing wrong. If, if I'm doing anything wrong, I'm sure I am. So, uh, yeah. So just leave some comments and hit the like button and subscribe because I'll be putting more videos out. And I got a couple more cars I'm going to be building. So just, just enjoy the videos. Merry Christmas.